What's up everybody? Well, welcome back. This is the JR Wisdom channel. Once again, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button along with the bell. That way you receive all the notifications for all of my future videos. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it. This is the piggybacking off of my previous video, which you guys can check out as well. And this is to all my fellas out there, all my men who may be in a state of confusion of listening to what a woman tells you she wants. And when you do that or you try to basically live up to what it is that she's telling you, you basically end up pushing her away. I had to learn this the hard way myself. So that's why I'm sharing this with you guys. What a woman says she wants. All right. And what she emotionally responds to are two different things. The sooner you learn that, the better. I wish I would have learned that when I was a young man, when I was a teenager. That way I could have I wouldn't have to go through all the BS that I had to go through in life of trying to please a woman or basically, you know, hearing what, you know, watching movies. And this is what a woman likes. She wants to be chased. She wants to be serenaded. She wants all of this stuff. At the end of the day, women do want a fairy tale. Let's not get that confused. Women do want a fairy tale. All right. But that's after you already got her. For the most part. And it's, it's not something that you're constantly, you know, all over her. You have to you, a woman likes a man who's doing him, who's not all over her, who's at his own purpose, who's indifferent. But when he's with her, he treats her like, you know, she's the only woman on earth. And that's what you guys need to realize. That's not a, a lot of you guys just come out the bat. You just come out the bat just swinging, telling a woman she's wifey material right off top. Stuff like that. Telling a woman she's beautiful right off top. Saying all of this stuff and you're being disingenuous, you know, for the most part, even though you may think she's beautiful. But she looks at it as you're being disingenuous because she's like... You don't even know me because women look at you. You can look at a woman and say that she this woman's gorgeous. She's beautiful, blah, blah, blah. You don't know anything about her, but you want to have sex with her. Women look at you like, is he good for me? Will I be safe with him? Can I find security in him? That's what women look, look at. So they don't come out and say, I want a guy that I have to chase, even though that's really what they want. Women want a challenge. At the end of the day, women, if, once a woman knows that she has you, she can lose all respect for you or lose attraction to you. That's why you a lot of times when you're giving a woman too much attention and you're dating and she goes cold or ghosts you, which you guys can check out my playlist on ghosting and no contact. That's what normally happens. And you dudes are just like, well, I'm doing everything that I thought I was supposed to do. Um, she told me she wanted me to send her that good morning text and all this stuff. I remember, and I'll give you an example, and I think I, if, for those of you who've been following me for some time, I'll give you this example on previous videos. I was talking to an older woman at one point. And I called myself trying to date her, and I wasn't doing that good morning text stuff. You know what I'm saying? I was, you know, being indifferent, laid back, and she was loving it, right? But she told me, like, and she told me, hey, I, you know, why, why, why don't I hear from you in the morning? Why don't I da, 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 Why don't I get these good morning texts or whatever? I said, yo, I'm not. And I didn't know any better, but I was doing the right thing all along. She told me, hey, you know, this is what I like. Why don't you do this? I start doing that. Next thing you know, this woman end up ghosting me and telling me I'm being needy. Trust me, dog. Don't don't do all that, man. Act like even if you're not busy. I mean, even if you don't have anything going on, act like you got something going on. Don't be blowing up a woman's phone. Don't be texting her and all that stuff until you, you may be in a relationship. And even then, it's you need to give it. Spur, you, it, it has to be like a drug, man. You know, you have to you can't just just overwhelm her with something because she's not going to she's going to she's going to show you the door. She's going to tell you to get lost. That dude, you look at a woman's history, especially for the single mothers and things like that. The guys who she had kids by or the guys who she gave her youth to or who she dealt with in the past. That's what she likes in dudes. And a lot of times these dudes never really paid her any attention, but she craves that presence because when 
the lack of him giving her attention makes her mind wonder, which is what women want. It's a scientific fact that women are more attracted to men whose feelings are unclear. That's just the way it is. You guys confessing your love the second and third week, talking about moving in after a month and all this stuff. She's, she feels like she's losing her freedom and you can't have a woman feel like she's losing her freedom. Teek Nhat Han, you must love in such a way that the person you love feels free. Put that in your mind. Put, we don't own anybody. Right. But if you're putting on this pressure, you got to let the pressure off with women. That's what they're that's what they want. They want the guy that they can't have. They want the guy that's not overwhelming her. They want that guy who's solid, who knows he's good. Whether he has her or not, she know and she has to know this and she will hate that you're that way, even though she's attracted to it at the same time. I know this video is not going to get a lot of views, but I'm preaching, guys. I'm preaching. I am preaching. I'm trying to tell you, telling you from experience. I'm 38 years old. I've been through it. You know, it, you can always say it depends on the age of the woman. You know, a lot of these young girls, you, you'll turn them off real quick with that BS. Even w women in their 30s, same thing. They might be a little bit more lenient. 40s, they might pay you a little bit more attention. But at the end of the day, most women are the same and they react the same. That's why you can't take advice from women. Because at the end of the day, they don't know what they're attracted to. They'll tell you what they think they're attracted to based off what society wants. But for the most part, it's a dysfunctional pursuit at the end of the day. And that's just the way it is. It doesn't work the way the movies go. It doesn't work like that. I'm sorry. The, the woman's mind is wired different from yours. You have to understand you are two different people. Your, your mind is wired completely different. And I want you guys to realize that. That attention that you have. She has to earn that. Don't just give it all up to her at one, one point because she's like, whoa, I didn't even do anything. This guy's giving me all his attention. So just remember that whenever you're talking, whenever you're asking for that number, you know, all of this stuff, waiting three days after you get her number to call her and all this, all this BS. You know, either she either she's into you or she's not. But the quickest way to turn her off is to come on strong, bombarding her with Texas, beautifuls, all this other foolishness. Can I take you out or after you go on a date? You plan the next date, so on and so forth. Man, cut all that out and be a man. You're just as valuable as she is, but a lot of you dudes putting her up here, she's more valuable than you. When at the end of the day, she should be she should be proving herself to you just as you're proving, trying to prove yourself to her. So with that being said, <laughs> I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Once again, if you guys like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button along with the bell. That way you receive all the notifications for all of my future videos and you're able to check out further content like this. If you guys got any comments on this topic, you know, please feel free to leave some comments. If you got any questions or you seek any advice or one on one. Please feel free to email me that as well as any comments that you may feel too shy to leave below. Make sure you guys subscribe to my other channel. Make sure you guys check out my new book, The Law of Attraction for the Pessimistic Mind. It's right here on Amazon, available now, ebook and paperback. And with that being said, check out these other videos related to this topic. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace be upon you and the mercy and blessings of the Almighty. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.